Here we are, question number one of your last FRQ test. Okay, we look at this problem and it's an area and volume problem. You are going to nail this. So, we're given these functions here. We know that we have y equals 4 times the natural log of 3 minus x. I'm going to label my graph accordingly so I don't get confused. And then we've got up here at 6, y equals 6 and x equals 2. Okay, now everything's truly labeled. So part A says find the area of R. So we know that we find the area. You take an integral. You're going to go upper minus lower in respect to x. And I know it's in respect to x because if I were to draw my representative rectangle in R, we can see that the width here is in respect to x. So now we just plug in. So the we are going to go in respect to x. So we're going to go 0, 2. And then we're going to go upper minus lower. So the upper is 6. The lower function is natural log 3 minus x. And this is So then you just put this into your calculator because it's a calculator question. And remember, when you get your answer wrong, it's at three decimal places always. So either 6.186 or 6.817. Sorry, I think I mixed up my digits there. So if you look here at the rubric then, notice you get one point for showing your work and one point for the correct answer. Okay? Now look here. Wow, a bonus. They just give you a bonus of one point if you used the correct limit in either A, B, or C. So since we used zero and two correctly, we get another point. So now we have three points for a very simple problem that all of you could get. So now let's look at B. So in B, we're asked to find the volume of the solid generated about the horizontal line, y equals 8. I really encourage you to draw this so that you don't make mistakes. So y equals 8 is about here. And I'm going to take this solid here, and I'm going to revolve it around y equals 8. So we identify that as the washer method because it's not connected. And notice it's dx again. So the washer method is you're always going to go the big r squared minus the little r squared. And this is again in respect to x. So we're going to go 0 and 2 and then it's pi times x. Why is it pi times x? Because basically you can see what we're doing. Well you probably can't see because I draw so bad. But we're taking this slice here and we're revolving it creating a circle, a slice, okay? So it's pi r squared. Now, what is the big r squared? So we look at the diagram, and the big r squared is the total length from the axis of, whoa, static. My hair is in the mic. Okay, so big, whoa, whoa, stop. Okay, big r squared is going to be upper minus lower. So it's going to be 8 minus 4 natural log of 3 minus x. I hope I'm not driving you audio people crazy. That whole thing squared. And then the small square is just this section in here. So then it's going to be 6 minus, oh wait, wait, no, no, no. Oh boy, see the audio just threw me. So the small section is this section right in here. That's the part we're taking out. So we don't want to include that in the volume. So that's the small r. So it's 8 minus 6 squared. And it's all in respect to x. Now again, put this in your calculator and round to three decimal places. So we get 168.179 or 0 .180. Now notice this, you get two points for the integrand and then one point for the answer. Now the last part is asking for us to do probably cross sections. Yep, cross sections, all right. Let me clean this up here. And what we need to do is we need to build squares. So I'm gonna build squares in this region. Like my diagram? I knew you would. Okay, so squares, we know that squares are just the length, right? Squared. So you to find the area of a square, you take one side, the length, and square it. Now this is going to be dx. So again, we're going to be going from 0 to 2. Now what is the length of the region r? Well, again, it's always upper minus lower. That's dx. So I'm going to go 6 minus 4 natural log of 3 minus x. And then that whole thing squared squared dx. And again, I plug into the calculator and you get either this or this answer. So that's worth three points. Now I want you to get eight or nines on this question on your AP exam. You can do it.